Welcome to Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug, and today we're going to make something really yummy. It's a European chocolate biscuit cake. Now, this recipe is actually very, very famous, and you know you can find it all over the place. But what I did was I kind of changed it up a little bit so it's a little bit healthier, and it's something that Yvonne can definitely eat. And so we're gonna take a look at that. So hopefully you'll stay tuned and let's get ready to make some yummy biscuit cake. Stay tuned. Yummy biscuit chocolate cake. <laughs> well, hi, how you doing? Welcome to Happy Healthy Living. So we're gonna get busy and we're gonna make this delicious chocolate biscuit cake. Now this cake is so popular throughout Europe and it's really popular in England. Actually, Prince William and Kate had this cake made at their wedding, one of the cakes. And Prince William and the Queen just love this cake. You can find this recipe really all over the internet. However, I did change it up some because I want it to be healthier and I wanted it to be something that Yvonne can eat. So, Number one, we're cutting out really sugar the best we can. So I found this, this is Swerve, the ultimate sugar replacement. So this recipe actually calls for one cup of sugar. However, since I'm using Swerve, I'm gonna be using a cup and a half of Swerve, the sugar substitute. You're also going to be, you're also going to need uh, chopped walnuts. We're gonna toast these. These are gonna taste really yummy to get that aroma going. We're gonna put it in a frying pan a little bit, toast it up a little bit. You're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and you're also going to need one teaspoon of imitation rum extract, yummy. Um, we're gonna need a half a cup of Hershey's unsweetened cocoa powder, and uh, of course, we need the uh, cookies, the tea cookies or the tea biscuits. And this is um, High Key, and that's the name of the brand. I found this on Amazon. And this is keto friendly, gluten free. It has less than one gram of sugar per serving, and a serving is six uh, cookies. And you're going to need, um, if you're going to get this, you're going to need uh, nine bags. Nine bags. So probably close to around um, 20 ounces of the uh, almond tea cookies. So, um, but you can use, if, if you're not really going healthy and you, you want that sugar, you can use any type of uh, tea cookies or tea biscuits. Okay, super important. Um, for the ganache, we're going to need four ounce of semi-sweet chocolate baking squares, and you're gonna need a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Um, we're also gonna use some baking squares as a kind of like a little garnish on the top to make it look pretty. And for the cake, I almost forgot, is two thirds cup of room temperature butter. Very, very important. All right, so I believe that is, that is it. We're gonna need to use a bambouri, bambouri for the, uh, to melt the chocolate and uh, to do the uh, ganache. And we also have a springform pan. You can actually mold this any way you want. If you want to put it in a log or something like that, you can do that too. But I'm going to be using a springform pan and also a small pot. All right. So I think that is about it. So let's get busy. Okay. And so we're back. So what we did, we put the two thirds cups of uh, butter in the saucepan. We added the one and a half cups of Swerve, um, and then also a half cup of the chocolate um, unsweetened powder. Okay, Hershey's uh, chocolate there, the uh, unsweetened uh, powder there. This one, unsweetened. And one thing I've got to mention is you're gonna need one cup of cold water. So I'm gonna add that in here. And then you just want to stir it and you want to bring this to a boil. So I'm gonna put up the flame to kind of like a medium flame, medium high, not too high. 
and we're going to melt this and we're going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to let it simmer for around i'd say around seven eight minutes okay and then we have to let it cool all right so right now the butter is still melting don't forget to use room temperature butter and we're going to let this come to a boil and you want to uh, stir this constantly all right so you definitely don't want to burn your chocolate mmm I just love chocolate yummy okay so you can see it's boiling here so what I want to do is reduce the temperature and I'm going to just keep this on a simmer for around seven eight minutes or so and I want to constantly stir it all right okay so it's been about seven minutes and you can see there's our beautiful chocolate our chocolate um i want to call it syrup kind of looks very very yummy and um so we're going to put that to the side it needs to set for around 10 minutes or so let it cool down and we're going to start working on our walnuts okay so here we have our non-stick pan and I'm going to heat up my one cup of walnuts here. We're just going to toast them just a little bit. So I'm just going to place them in the pan there. Let that heat up and we want the, that aroma to really get going and it's going to be so yummy in our cake. So if you've never uh, toasted walnuts before, what I like to do is I just get a uh, little spatula and I just keep tossing them around. The flame is sort of like on a medium low. You don't want to put it on high because you don't want anything to burn, but medium low is a good, is good to put it on. And I just keep tossing them and I'll probably do this for around two to five minutes. Okay, so it looks like my walnuts are pretty much toasted. I love that aroma going on here. So that is perfect. All right, and it's been about three, four minutes. So I think that's good. All right, awesome, excellent. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off, put that to the side. Okay, so here's my saucepan. It still needs to cool just a little bit more, but we're gonna be adding our walnuts to this. We're gonna add one teaspoon of Mexican vanilla, one teaspoon of rum extract, and, uh, and like I said, the walnuts. So we're just gonna let this cool for about five more minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, and uh, actually it's a total of 10. Let that cool down for a total of 10 minutes. And so I'm going to add my vanilla and I'm going to add my rum extract. So we're going to use one teaspoon of the vanilla. And we're going to add one teaspoon of the rum extract. Mmm, yum. Mmm, I just love me some rum. <laughs> All right. And now we have the walnuts that have been toasted and then i'm going to just mix all that together just stir it mix it together get all those flavors going i can really smell mm, that rum extract that smells good oh so it's going to be a yummy yummy cake okay looks good all right, so now what we need to do, I'm gonna put this to the side. We're gonna still let that cool. And now we need to work on our biscuits. So, I'm gonna get all my biscuits out here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, remember you're gonna need nine of these bags if you're using this brand. Otherwise, think of it as 20 ounces of tea cookies or tea biscuits. And um, basically what I'm gonna do, I need a big bowl, so I'm gonna use this right here, because uh, it has a nice little pouring spout. And I'm going to just put these biscuits in a baggie and break them up a little bit. They're already kind of small. Let's, let's show you how small these are. Look, look how small these are, these are small little biscuits. Mmm, they're really 
really good too. Mm. Good by themselves. Mm. And I'm just gonna place them in a bag. Baggy, plastic baggy. Probably put two. Mmm. Great taste. And and then I'm just going to kind of smash them a little bit. You don't want them like crumbs. You just want to smash them up a little bit. So I have some air in there. I'll get my little meat mallet here, little hammer. Just break them up just a little bit. Okay, so really quick, what I decided to do, my hammer was working, but it was getting a little too crummy for me. So, crummy. Anyway, <laughs> and so what I decided to do, these are really easy to break in your fingers. So I'm just kind of breaking them up in my fingers because I really want these little chunks. I don't want it to be a lot of crumbs, like little crumbs, all right? So I want it more chunkier. So I'm just breaking them up in my fingers and this will go real fast. It's not that bad. So I'm gonna continue working on that. Okay, so welcome back. So I wanted to show you quickly up close, you can see the size of the little tea cookies. And so that's how we break them up. If you have some crumbs in there, that's okay, but you want, you definitely want them to be a little bit on the chunkier side. Don't have all crumbs, whatever you do. All right, so we got our chocolate here. And don't forget our chocolate has the vanilla and the um, rum extract. And there, now we're going to just pour it over the biscuits, just like that. Get every bit of that yummy chocolate. And put it over your biscuits, very nice. And then I'm just going to toss that, make sure it's well blended. Try not to break up your uh, cookies. <laughs> you spend all that time making sure you don't have crumbs, so <laughs> you definitely don't want to do that. So this is pretty good. I'm going to kind of just pour it all over the cookies. Now we're going to put it in our springform pan, just like this. See how easy? And we're going to put this in the refrigerator for at least an hour before we add our chocolate ganache on top. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Let me get every bit. Yum, mm, it smells yummy. Mm, tell me. All right, so let me just smear that with the back of my wooden spoon. You can put uh, parchment paper um, at the bottom of your sheet. I decided not to do it for this, but you can put parchment paper. And because when I release the springform pan, it's gonna kind of just take its shape and I'm just gonna use the base. But let's say if you didn't want to use that base and wanted to make it look fancier, then use parchment paper, put it at the bottom and then on the sides a little bit. All right. So that's what it looks like, yum. Okay, make sure it's all evenly spread. We don't want a lopsided cake. <laughs> that looks good. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Holy moly. That is yummy. All right, so let me put it in the fridge. Okay, so now we're gonna make our chocolate ganache. So I need my heavy whipping cream, and I'm gonna be using a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to boil this up. So I wanna put it on a medium to a low flame, all right? And I wanna, like I said, I want to uh, boil it. I think I'm gonna use a, uh, a little spatula let us stir it and I want this to come to a boil and then we're going to add our chocolate now with the chocolate what I have is um, a bambari 
and I am just going to um, just going to I put some water at the base of the pot, and then I'm just going to melt the chocolate in the bambari. And it's okay if it doesn't all get melted because we're going to be adding it to our um, hot whipping cream. Okay. So I'm just going to melt that and I'm going to boil my whipping cream. Now, once again, we're using a bambari, uh, so we do not burn the chocolate. And it's melting nicely. And then we're just gonna add it to that cream and make sure it's very well blended into that cream that has been boiled. All right. And like I said, you don't have to melt it all the way, but I would get it mostly liquefied as much as possible. It's okay if you have little chunks and then you add it to the cream because it will melt in the cream. All right. Okay, so let's start doing that. Okay, so my, my um, whipping cream has been boiling. So I'm removing it from the flame, giving it a nice stir. And then I'm going to add the chocolate. chocolate all right and I'm going to just mix it in the whipping cream so you guys can see that melt that chocolate that's why I like putting it in the bain marie to melt it first as much as possible it's okay if it's not totally melted because it will the rest of it will melt in the cream and this is our chocolate ganache. And we're gonna pour this over our cake. And then we're gonna let the whole cake chill for around three to four hours. If you wanted to leave it overnight, you could, but I don't think I'll be able to wait. <laughs> but this is for Yvonne, so I'm not gonna take a bite into it until he gets home from work tonight. This is gonna be a nice little surprise. Look at that nice ganache. Look at that, how beautiful it glistens. That's now that's a good ganache. All right. Okay, looks good. All right, I'm gonna add it to my. I'm gonna add it to my uh, chocolate cake. Okay, so here's my yummy chocolate cake, and I'm gonna add the ganache. I'm just gonna pour it all over use a spatula to smear it around a little bit shavings to it too, to the top. Make sure you get every bit of that ganache. I just like saying ganache. All right, um, <laughs> so here's our, um, now I'm gonna wait actually to do this, but what I have these uh, chocolate squares and I'm just gonna do some shavings, but I wanna put this in the refrigerator. I wanna let this cool some more, three to four hours, and then we're going to top it with some chocolate shavings and make it look pretty. So stay tuned. So really quickly, what I wanted to show you, I just got a little mortar and pestle and I kind of broke up some of those um, walnuts and that's gonna be a, a topping that's going on top of the cake. And then my chocolate. And so I'm using these baking squares here, 
And basically what I want to do is I just, uh, you can do a couple of things. You can use a grater, maybe try to grate it a little bit, but I like using this a peeler and you can just go like this. And it kind of gives these chocolate flakes. And let me do some more so you can actually see it. So let me show you up close so you can see those flakes. And, um, and that's it. So I'm going to continue working on these flakes and then we'll decorate our cake. Let's get in. Okay, so I just took my cake out of the fridge and it's only been probably about an hour or so. So I'm just going to put some, fix it up a little bit and I'm going to add some nuts on top. Just sprinkle it on top of the ganache. Just like that. I don't want to put too many, just, just enough. And then I'm going to add those chocolate shavings. Mm, looks so pretty. I'll do an up close so you can see what it looks like so far. And then when we take it out of the, um, out of the spring form pan, it should look fantastic. All right, that looks good. Let me show you a close. That's what it's looking like so far. I think it's looking awesome. All right, so we're gonna put this back in the fridge for about another uh, two hours or so, and then we're gonna take a good look at it. Well, welcome back. So I wanted to take this opportunity to pop in because um, we're gonna have a giveaway. Yes, a giveaway. And this is actually our 50th uh, video or episode on season five, which is um, really, we changed it up a lot this uh, season because we moved into more healthier cooking. Plus, if you notice, I changed the name from happy cooking to happy, healthy living. Why? Because we're incorporating more than just cooking. And so I just thought living would be really the better word for it. And we are still gonna be doing, like I said, a lot of healthy recipes, some, maybe not as healthy, <laughs> or I should say, um, <laughs> let's just say we'll be using some sugar and things like that um, because we're not gonna make every single episode um, where we're using, let's say, Swerve or something like that because a lot of people may not wanna use that. So um, we're gonna, it's gonna be a mix, let's put it that way. But anyway, this is our 50th episode for season five, probably the most we've ever done in a season and uh, we're gonna have a giveaway. And you won't know what the prize is until next week, but the way you can, uh, the way you can participate is by leaving a comment below. If you leave a comment below, your name will be in a drawing. And we're just going to kind of actually old fashioned way, just put it in a hat and pick out a name. <laughs> And uh, that will be the winner of our little prize that we're gonna be giving away uh, next week. So you definitely want to stay tuned uh, for next week, or I should say episode 51, because sometimes we do more videos in a week. Uh, it's not like one video every week, so it's possible we may, um, we may air it a little bit sooner. But uh, definitely it'll be the following video after this. So video 51 for season five. And uh, make sure you leave your name, leave a comment actually down below. It could even be ganache. <laughs> you can leave the word ganache, whatever you want to write down below and then your name will be in the drawing. And hopefully it'll get picked and then you'll uh, see what the prize is next week. So um, let's see if that cake is done yet. Well, here it is. Here's our delicious chocolate no-bake biscuit cake. I cannot wait until Yvonne tries this. If you have not subscribed to Happy Healthy Living, please subscribe and like this video. And don't forget to leave a comment below. All right, until next time, happy healthy living. Bye-bye.